I grew up in post-Second World War Holland. Judaism is associated with people that are no longer there, loss and suffering. There's very little fun, uh, interesting, exciting components in Judaism. Nothing that would attract a young man. All I was doing was playing soccer. It was actually pretty good. I made it to a fairly high level, making as many goals and making it to Ajax in the Dutch squad. Building a Jewish home and marrying a Jewish woman was absolutely not part of my reality or value system. Then I came to Mayanot. Welcome to Mayanot, a place where young men and women come from all over the world to explore their intrinsic connection to the history, the traditions, the land, and the people of Israel. With the hills of Jerusalem as the backdrop and the sights of the old city as the living classroom, the students of Mayanad embark upon a journey of intellectual understanding, spiritual awareness, and social consciousness. Friday night, we were sitting on the porch of our hotel with the rabbi kind of talking Hasidic stories. There's something there that can't be touched anywhere else. If a young Jew, a young student can suddenly feel, I am part of this land, I'm part of this story. This narrative is my narrative. This is the beginning of a journey to the renaissance of the Jewish people. Can't explain why it's so amazing. It's just, it really just is. It's like trying to explain, like going to the hotel, what's so amazing about seeing a brick wall? You have a feeling. When I came to Mayanot, I saw a side of Judaism, of celebrating Judaism, being happy. Judaism is something here and now that I can celebrate and be happy about. While I was at Mayanot, I had the chance to really look into Jewish texts for the first time. I had the chance with girls of my age from all over the world and a diverse variety of backgrounds to learn about what it means to be Jewish in this day and age and how to incorporate the role of a Jewish woman into our modern lives. We're taught not just to absorb the benefits of the program and keep them to ourselves, but we go back out into the world and use those experiences to really impact the communities and the greater world around us. Today, uh, where we live, I go out and I try to visit offices or people, and on my journey we discovered that there were a lot of people in the area that didn't have a lot of food to eat, and they were struggling. So as a result, um, just from my instructions at Mayanat, we took it to the next level and we started a food bank called the Jewish Relief Agency. It's incredible success. Mayanot really kind of gives you that confidence and teaches you that, those leadership skills to go out into the world and to share your Judaism and what you've learned there with other people. Well, now that I work in, for a nonprofit, I think that the values that Mayanot taught me has inspired me to teach others about doing good and giving back. One of the pinnacles of, of the teachings of, uh, of the Lubavitch Rebbe is a little bit light in a dark place gives uh, spreads actually a lot of light. Our students finding ways to truly bring more light into the world, to be a point of light. They care. If you care, you'll make a difference. I'm very grateful to Mayanot. I see through Daniel what he's been given in Mayanot, and I am thankful that he's passing it on to our children, and we see them with joy. You don't get that everywhere, and Mayanot has been able to show him how to live as a Jew in happiness. I'm able to enjoy that, and my kids are able to enjoy that, and I'm very thankful to Mayanot. It's been so exciting being involved in the Mayanot program since its inception. Seeing Jewish women come to Jerusalem, learning, developing their skills as individuals, as leaders, as the future of the Jewish people. And now we've outgrown our facilities, and we're so excited that we're starting our capital campaign to purchase our new campus. My note is a gift that keeps on giving now and forever.